After being happily married for years, a stage director and his actor wife struggle through a grueling coast-to-coast -coast divorce that pushes them to their personal and creative extremes. I'm a fan of Noah Baumbach. Mistress America was okay, but I really loved the Meyerowitz stories, and I've been meaning to rewatch Francis Ha lately, which I remember loving when it first came out. Baumbach just knows how to create compelling characters that feel real and authentic. His movies aren't really plot-driven, they're character-driven. The stories are simple, and that simplicity makes the characters all the more engaging. And Marriage Story just may be his best movie by far. In this film, the two lead characters are played by Adam Driver and Scarlett Johansson, and they are both fucking incredible. These actors deliver two of the best performances of the entire year. I know Driver is getting most of the attention, and his Oscar chances are high, but although he deserves all the praise he's getting, I would not underestimate Johansson's excellent performance here. I'm used to seeing Bombak play with quirky characters. You know, people with unique personality traits that Greta Gerwig could perfectly portray. But that is just not the case here, and that doesn't take away anything from Gerwig as an actress either. Her sensibilities just perfectly suit a mumblecore style of filmmaking, and Marriage Story transcends that genre completely. Driver plays Charlie Barber, a well-regarded stage director who loves New York City. And Johansson plays Nicole Barber, an actress from LA. Nicole once made a name for herself in a big Hollywood movie, but decided to pursue a smaller career in theater once she met Charlie. And when a new opportunity to star in a TV show based in Los Angeles comes Nicole's way, she longs to return to her home and her roots, trying to move on from beyond Charlie's shadow. This is why I said you shouldn't underplay Johansson's involvement in the film. For the most part, her character largely acts as the catalyst that moves this story forward, and it's an emotional story being told. So I think it was a wise decision to give Johansson the emotional heft required to get the ball rolling with this narrative. But the story does not belong to Nicole. You easily understand both Nicole and Charlie's perspective on the situation. Even though we get to see Nicole's point of view first, and we can empathize with her unhappiness with Charlie, this does not make Charlie a bad guy. There is no bad guy in this story. There is no central antagonist. We just have two very real people trying to overcome this obstacle together. That obstacle being divorce and being legally separated from one another. And that isn't an easy process. Our characters know that the other person isn't bad, but they just don't suit each other well anymore. And that makes for some hardships, especially since we as an audience begin to see that they both rely on one another for certain things. Marriage Story is just a heartbreaking and emotionally shattering film. My favorite scene in the movie involves an argument between Charlie and Nicole, where the two characters just go on an emotional roller coaster. The tension is high, they're both yelling at each other, there's wall punching and crying and collapsing to the floor, and they're still both warmly embraced by a hug. The scene feels so emotionally raw, it feels like two real people having an argument. The tension and the emotion is palpable, in a way that doesn't come across as overly sentimental. The two characters just want what's best for their son, which is to stick close together as a family without actually being married to one another. But they have two vastly different concepts of what that looks like. Charlie is a New Yorker who is precise and knows exactly what he wants, and prefers walking over driving everywhere. Nicole is a more relaxed person who goes with the flow and likes to play around while enjoying the open space of LA. As you can see, this is a completely character-based story, led by the performances and driven by the dialogue and character interactions. And somehow, the movie manages to be compelling and engaging for the entirety of its running time. For a movie about two characters getting divorced, with a runtime over two hours, I was never once bored. There was not one single dull moment in this film, as it managed to hold my attention the whole time. That's quite impressive on Bombak's behalf, for writing such a compelling narrative. But the same can be said for the supporting cast as well. It's nice to see Alan Alda, Wallace Shawn, and especially Ray Liotta on the screen again in some capacity. But Laura Dern steals the show here. 
She is so friendly and kind and nice and gentle. Until she shows her lawyer side where she is vicious and ready for an all-on assault in a war that takes place in the courtroom. She was just outstanding. And Charlie and Nicole both show dual sides of their personalities as well. For the most part, when they're together, they act all cordial and try to be nice and understanding to each other, but when they're both with their lawyers in court, they drag each other through the mud without any mercy. Which really goes to show how hard and ugly legal processes can be. Things a person wouldn't normally say or do all come out when legalities are involved or when lawyers are speaking for you. The law can be scary that way. Marriage Story is just a little slice of life, a look into the lives of Charlie and Nicole Barber during their separation. There's no action or over-the-top set pieces, just engaging characters with a wide range of emotions. Real humans interacting with each other. This is the most raw and emotionally genuine film I've seen since Honey Boy. But unlike Honey Boy, Marriage Story isn't as hard to watch and can often be quite funny, which is surprising given its subject matter. I struggled to find something that I didn't enjoy about this movie, other than maybe the scenes where Driver is in New York with Wallace Shawn and his theater friends just weren't as compelling as the rest of the narrative. But that's nothing compared to how moving and cathartic the rest of the film actually is. Marriage Story is easily one of the best films of the year, but I'm probably going to score it as if it were one of the best films of the decade, even if it really doesn't deserve that honor. Because... fuck it! Everyone says I'm too critical when it comes to my ratings anyway, and the ratings are the least important part of a review. I don't know if Marriage Story will be fondly remembered years from now, but that doesn't matter. Because as of now, I'm going to give Marriage Story 5 out of 5 stars. Thanks for watching.